<laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Game Talk Live. Uh, this is Ice alongside our co-casters, Tails My BR and Gridlock. We're going to be bringing you Game Two between Coons and Agna. So, spawning in our bottom right, these are two NMX clan members going head to head, high masters level players. Spawning in our bottom right as our red Terran player. Agna. And in our bottom left, our purple Protoss. That is going to be Coons. So as we said at the, the end of uh, game number one, if you didn't get a chance to see game number one, I'm about to spoil it. So go check it out. It was pretty epic. Uh, in game number one, we had Coons. Unfortunately, just sort of get trapped. It wasn't never really commit to anything. Didn't have an observer on the field. Committed to some sort of proxy Dark Shrine play. I liked it. I didn't so much like the placement of it, of where he did it. I thought it could have been uh, somewhere else, maybe in your main where it belongs. I don't know. But uh, I didn't really like the, the, the Dark Shrine play f out of the last game. Hopefully we see something a little more standard. Um, unfortunately, Protoss have to do something in, in this matchup. It, it's not really that you can just charge in with Colossi and win. It doesn't really work like that. You have to do something. You gotta get some nice feedbacks, some good uh, storms. Some Something has to work for you or you're not gonna win this matchup. Terran can sort of just make a big army and push and kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Terran OP, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> I'm a Terran player and I'll be the first to admit it. Terran slay. Yeah, yeah. We just make a ball. <laughs> ball of marines death you might i make a cattle bruiser <laughs> a cattle bruiser <laughs> the cattle, cattle bruiser, bruiser the cb the bc mm -hmm. cattle bruiser <laughs> fair enough all right so again we're we're seeing uh s identical openings the barracks uh double supply depot wall off for agna and the corona boosting early probes and the gateway cybernetic score for coons <clears throat> So, what do you guys want to see? We have not close by Metalopolis air spawns, but they have these cross spawns. They're not cross map. <clears throat> There's sort of one main pathway that you can take, and that's sort of by the Zelnaga Tower. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, and that's sort of the, the foot route. As you can see, these early Agna Marines, that's sort of the main foot route um, of the, the map, so really. And uh, is that going to lead to some Coon Stargate play? I don't know. Maybe. I doubt it. But maybe. We can, we can hope for some Void Rays. We, there, there's always, there's always well, it doesn't really look like a whole lot of early air uh, would be coming up right now because five barracks just went down in Agnes' uh, main right now. Oh. Clearly there's going to be some, <laughs> some, uh, some Marines coming out, some Marine Marauders coming out here. Submarines, <laughs> <laughs> just just a just a just a simple like you know pinch of salt will equal up to this amount of marines. Yeah, basically. just a little bit. All right, but um, I am liking the the early Ur expand by Coons under. I mean, he was at the four minute mark or so, uh, four point four four twenty or something, getting that expansion out. So a lot faster. Uh, I don't. Do I see a forge? Nope. Just a couple gateways. So no forge to be able to help out just yet. So unfortunately, he's really vulnerable to these early marines at the moment, but a couple stalkers are in. Finally gonna uh, check around the map, it looks like. Post up to sort of defend. Uh, what's good about this map um, is how narrow the, sort of the choke is in, in the natural basis. So that's gonna uh, be so much more beneficial to a Protoss player. Uh, no offense, Taren, you have everything else going for you. But... <laughs> <laughs> Blizzard, Blizzard loves us a little too much, in my opinion. Way too much. But yeah, we're going to see these Stalkers do a little scouting. I like that a lot. Mobilize the Stalkers. Um, keep them moving. It's just like I say it all the time with Zerg players. You just got to keep your units moving. There's no reason you should be, you know, making a giant death ball somewhere and just huddling it up in a corner. And here comes a little engagement with these Stalkers. Whoa, unfortunately, one is at one, two HP. Wow, I don't know how that Stalker, that was a champion of the Stalker right there somehow uh, made it out of there. 
It's gonna live to see another day. But there's no okay, there is a sentry. He's gonna have to get a couple clutch force fields off. Force fields, force fields, force fields. Oh my god, where are the force fields there? Oh. Finally, it's really good. So late. I thought he was gonna try to, to wall off his base and try to buy some time to get a couple units out, but but this zealot is chilling at seven HP himself. I, you were gonna give me a heart attack. Yeah, I this. had a minor one without when those force what fields were just delayed. Here? latest force fields of all time but uh somehow that two <laughs> that two hp two kills stalker is hanging in that army somewhere but this is just too many marines so many marines uh, do we have upgrades of any kind no marines <laughs> just, <laughs> <you're even> just <laughs> no <laughs> No stim whatsoever. We just have Marines and look at them just streaming. Take a look at the minimap, folks. Just Marines streaming across the map. I see this. Who does this a lot? It's been like Bomber. this. It's been Bomber. like this all like the whole game. And yes, it's emulating Bomber play. Star Tales Bomber does this all the time. Just streams them across the map in TVP. Here he comes, here comes the engagement. A couple better oh, first Oh, Very nice. Still doesn't help all that much. These elves, wow. Those elves got evaporated. I don't know There's if these four stalkers are going to be able to do it enough. A couple more are getting warped in, as well as I want these sentries to do better things, but they're just getting picked off right now by these so many Marines. I don't know. Somehow, some way, these stalkers are holding off all those Marines. Oh Where's my god. I don't know Parker? how he got so many. I guess getting up his second expansion so fast. See what that's able to do. He was able to to uh, double double gas his main. Now he's double gassing his natural. This is Coons we're talking about, and now he's going to be able to engage with these so many extra stalkers that he was able to make by using uh, the, the 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 small choke on this map that he was able to exploit by just expanding early. I like it a lot. It's it's sometimes just oversung. Um, uh, the, the simplicities, the easy things that you can do to get an edge, and, and he definitely edge goes to our pro wrestling player Coons right now. Um, marine production is <laughs> steady, <laughs> fervent, is absolutely unrelentless at this point. That's it. I mean, do we have no gas? He no hasn't taken a gas yet. <laughs> We're at the 10 minute mark guys and there's no gas from Agna yet. This is one of those gasless. Usually we see the gas ex expands. No. This was a gasless seven barracks marine domination. Oh god. Tell me what you think about this as our stalkers come in for the engagement. Honestly I don't think it's going to actually be enough. I think he needs to cut his losses and just start his macro up. Uh, it seems like the stream of marines has either ended or has died a little bit. And I, right. I you, they're not going to be able to take on this many stalkers head on, not no. without any upgrades. There's no stim, no. there's no combo shield, there's nothing. Two sentries are lying in wait in the back for some force fields, and here they come. That wasn't the greatest one in the world, but uh, it's going to be able to definitely clear this army up. Oh god, here we go. It's it's going to be close, but I think these stalkers still have the edge. More are coming in though, but still without any upgrades and none even in production. Six marines being churned out at a time though. I like I said, definitely a pro win there, but uh, how is he going to be able to do this forever? I don't know. It's it's so easy for him to just spam marines on just SCVs. Oh, and the SCVs are being pulled right now. Oh wait, no, it's just the transfer. I'm sorry. Transfer. I was getting a little worried there. Wait, I'm quite wait, 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 wait. got gas. So hopefully we'll finally see some upgrades. I don't know if he's I even going to make it that far. I uh, don't know. Here come the SCVs. This is sort of the last ditch effort. The surround's going to go down on a couple of these stalkers. But is it going to be enough? More sentries are being warped in. No. Pro finally the proxy pylon goes down. And there's our GG. I, f I, uh, I like it. I really like it a lot. Um, the bomber-esque strategy. The thing, the thing that's going to separate this sort of thing from a bomber style play is I think he realizes it. He knows that a gas has to go down. You, if you're not going to gas like a gasless expand, which is increasingly popular and just becoming its universal build on, on some of these bigger maps like this. But if you're not going to gas like expand, you're going to gasless marine push. It's really just not going to work out for you. Upgrades. All that well. a yeah, exactly. A Protoss player is going to run you over if you don't have stim or combat shield or plus one or anything. So that that's what we saw. Nothing fancy, nothing out of the ordinary. 
Um, well, it was pretty out of the ordinary, but uh, nothing, nothing too crazy. No rushes, no pylon crazy placements, no dark shrines. Just um, a bigger army from the early expand that we saw from Coons. So much stronger uh, was Coons that game in game number one, guys. Oh, absolutely. He showed he showed absolute supremacy in that in that nice little like you know just just quick little game. Uh, unfortunately, the bomber stream didn't quite work out all that well for Agna. And that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. But congrats to him. He's going to tie the series up one to one in our best of three. So for Game Talk Live, Ice. Take off my VR and grid lock. I'm rushing We're going to sign out for this one, and we'll catch you guys next time.